Event Pilot is a high-performance conference app for the largest medical and scientific events with offline access to thousands of sessions and research abstracts. So there's lots of data in the app. In this tutorial, we'll cover the core data fields for schedules, sessions, speakers, and exhibitors. Let's start with the schedule view that gives your attendees the day-to-day -day overview of available and scheduled items. When you go to a conference, it's nice to see a visual overview so you can easily plan each day at the event. Your schedule at a glance can be replicated within the app as time blocks in a daily calendar view. Each time block is interactive. Pressing on the keynote time block, for example, will show detailed information about the keynote. Selecting a generic time block, such as concurrent sessions, will display a list of all sessions starting in that time block and the user can drill down further to see the detailed view of each session. Selecting a time block that is linked to a specific thematic track or category will show the list of just sessions in that track. A time block associated to a single track appears in that track color to give a visual clue. You can custom label the time blocks and if you have too many overlapping sessions and tracks, try generic time blocks called morning sessions and afternoon sessions to help attendees manage their day. You can customize the colors for each track and the full list of tracks is displayed in the program tab. Each session belongs to one track and tracks could be either the session type as in this example or the specific thematic discipline as displayed now. When you select either a discipline or browse all sessions, you'll see a day selector and underneath a list of sessions sorted by time for that day. If sessions have meta tags, you can apply session filters with a custom label, in this example, track and organ site. Based on the keywords that are assigned to the sessions, the user now browses through a select set of sessions. Let's take a closer look at the structure of a session view. You can access sessions in multiple ways, for example, from the schedule view and time blocks, the program tracks, the search, other subsessions, the speaker or exhibitor detail views. Once in a session detail view, you have access to other items such as subsessions or abstracts, speakers, exhibitors, and media items. The session view consists of first displaying the color coded session track, then any ads if you have purchased the sponsorship module the session title, the time and date, the location, which is actually interactive when it's mapped, and a session number. An icon bar with different actions for the user, one or more speakers or exhibitors with the option to drill down and learn more, and of course the session description. Any media items or media links to posters, presentation slides, handouts, videos or surveys are displayed below the description. Also below the description, attendees can view and add their comments to that session. The icon bar enables different actions such as seeing an animated pin drop on the map, finding sessions near this one on the same floor, sharing a session via social media, adding a comment, adding the session to the schedule, bookmarking it with a star, or adding a personal note. A session itself can contain subsessions such as abstracts, posters, presentations, or individual discussion groups. Users can either add the main session to their schedule or individual subsessions. Subsessions must start and end within the time of their parent session. All the different fields in the session view are simply columns in an Excel spreadsheet or CSV file with other relations to speakers, media items, and exhibitors. The speaker view is as structured as the session view. You can display a photo, which is optional, the speaker first name and last name, then a second and third data field, which could include the title and organization, for example. Action items could optionally include an email if an attendee has questions for the speaker and a URL, such as the speaker's Facebook page. Then, of course, a full bio and the app automatically adds a list of all the sessions the speaker is presenting. You can also associate media items such as slides or abstracts directly to a speaker. Exhibitors have a similar detail view, but are not merely listed alphabetically like speakers. Similar to other lists, you can create custom filters, 
and then maybe sell to a sponsor to be included in, for example, a featured products filter. You can break up your listing by exhibitor type and, for example, highlight sponsors or featured exhibitors above the normal exhibitors. This brings the listing into the initial view on top and is an attractive option in the sponsorship add-on module. You can choose to display the logo directly in this part of the listing. This is followed by the organization name and booth number. In this case, the enhanced listing is followed by normal exhibitors, where the logo is omitted and it's simply an alphabetical view of the rest of the exhibitors. The exhibitor detail view shows the logo, the organization name and booth number, then the action icon bar with the animated pin for the booth location, and an optional email contact or website link. You can add a description, and if you have purchased the sponsorship module, you can also add media items, such as additional links to product fact sheets, product videos, a webinar sign-up form. All very attractive advertisement options for your exhibitors. Just like in the speaker view, any sessions an exhibitor is associated with also appear in the exhibitor detail view. Our project managers are experts in populating the app with conference data and will be able to guide you how best to import your existing data or using direct data entry in the event pilot CMS.